Today we're going to be opening the cheapest booster box from the Sword and Shield era that you could buy. Most of you might know this set, but if you don't, it's poor old battle styles. Oddly enough though, you'll find some really good artwork, such as the Gold Houndoom, tons of really cool alternate artworks, and of course, the alternate artwork Sleeping Tyranitar. So let's sit back and enjoy opening a $115 booster box of Pokemon cards. <laughs> All right, this is a sealed booster box of Battle Styles. Um, I don't know if you guys remember when this was released, but it was 2021, and um, I mean, this really kicked off the alt arts. And as you can see, it's still, I mean, it's still $112. So lowest option is $115 last year. I mean, it actually, it looks like it actually has come down a bit over the last year, like a, a little bit, or just about say the same, honestly. Uh, which is pretty interesting. But of course, it would be a dream to be able to pull that Sleeping Tyranitar from just one booster box of Battle Styles. But you know what? We're going to give it a shot here. We're going to see if we can make it happen. Let's pop the top and let's uh, take, a, take a trip back down memory lane. We're going back like three plus years ago. So hopefully we could just get one alternate artwork out of this booster box. I don't know what the pull rates are on alt arts from Battle Styles. But if it's comparable to like Lost Origin and stuff like that, it's like maybe average of one per case of six i would say if i had to guess bolton well, we're going back we're going back we're not in scarlet and violet now we're not getting two reverse cards and a hollow guaranteed no 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 we're getting a reverse card is basically what you're guaranteed which is i don't know i, I didn't mind it i i didn't mind it too much like the buzz and age of slash but this was before the trainer gallery stuff and like subsets within the set so it's basically just one main set here um, but the Sleeping Tyranitar is probably the number one card that everybody wants to get from this set when they open it up. Oh, okay. Here's a quick peek at the set list. You got Tyranitar at the number one spot, of course. Um, and then you have a bunch of the other alternate artworks up here. And then some of the gold cards, which is interesting to see. Um, and then there's the rainbows and everything like that. So, I mean, there's a bunch of stuff in here. But yeah, there's uh, all the other Sword and Shield sets are a good amount more expensive than this one. I think the next one in line would be like vivid voltage would be the second cheapest and then maybe like darkness of blaze or something would be next sword shield base is a lot um i think that's like well over 200 dollars. i think it might be like pushing 250 or something but i mean it's just because that set was the beginning of the sword and shield era so it's the oldest and it's probably the toughest one of the toughest ones to to find booster boxes of i feel like that because that honestly that was that was still before like the big i feel like Pokemon hype 2.0 uh, that came back. So it wasn't like they didn't print a ton of it. We got our first pull though. It's a Necrozma V. We'll take it. We'll take it. It's just one pull so far. I mean, we're trying here. We're going back to the days of no like extra bonus cards and the extra slots and stuff like that. It's just you get what you just got to try to get that one pull. It's kind of funny. If you just want the Sleeping Tyranitar and you were going to try to open a box to get it, you could just buy the Sleeping Tyranitar instead. And it's probably like about the same price or a little bit cheaper, honestly, than a booster box. But we're going for it. We're going to go for it. Horsey, Primate. I don't know. Like Battle Styles, I guess every I guess every era has like this set that everybody likes to joke around about and just be like, oh, this set's terrible. And then it's like the cheapest one. Like for X and Y, it was Steam Siege, Sword and Shield, Battle Styles. We got Rapid Strike, Urshavu, VMAX, non alternate artwork. I don't know what it would be for Scarlet and Violet. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't feel like there hasn't been one like that. Um, but every generation, there seems to be one. Um, we got Yan for Lickitung, Zubat, Onyx, Victor Bell. They're like the loneliest sets. Battle Styles and Steam Siege. And I guess from Black and White, I don't know. What could it be? That one's tough to say because all those sets nowadays are cool to open, but back then, I feel like it would probably be like emerging powers from black and white era, maybe. Just because there's literally just two full arts, I think, and then that's it. Um, and then Sun and Moon, it's probably, probably, probably say like Crimson Invasion. The Mime, get out of here. Um, oh my god, the Mime's are Sun and Moon, probably Crimson Invasion or Guardians Rising would be probably like the least popular set from that generation, if I had to guess. Um, 
We got Remoraid, Onyx. Lick it, lick it. All right, well, the pull rates are not too good right now. They're pretty bad. Pretty bad. We got a VMAX and a V. But it's the cheapest box from the Sword Shield Hour. It's all right. Timber, Corefish, Big Teeny V. I don't even, I think I pulled the Sleeping Tyranitar one time, I want to say it was. Yeah, I think it was just one time I ever pulled the Sleeping Tyranitar from this set. Um, just never had too much luck with it. The mimes are ridiculous today. Oh, left side has been really bad. <laughs> really bad. Uh, two Vs and a V Max. But we got two more packs left here. On the left side, anyway. Roly coly shinks. Come on, give me something. Oh, man. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's finish off this left side here. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Um, wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's it on the left side, it can't be. Regular Hollow Lux Ray. One more pack on the left side. Then we gotta move to the right side here, and hopefully, I mean, wow, yeah, that's pretty, really low pull rate. There's gotta be something left. Oop, I think I see something. Oh, it's something decent. Might be at least a full art. Oh yeah, it's. It's only on B. All right. Well, it's the best pull from the box so far. Last pack on the left side, that full art. We'll take it. Guess most of the good cards in this set are really hard to pull if you think about it, because they're all like gold cards, rainbows, alternate artworks. So this one's one of those sets where you gotta really just gotta just go in. I gotta get rid of these mimes, dude. They're crazy today. Oh, all right. But all the good stuff is really hard to pull. I would say, I don't even think you're guaranteed to pull like one of those rarities, the gold, rainbow, or uh, ultra artwork from a box. You could pull multiple. You could pull like an ultra artwork, and, like a gold or a rainbow or something, but sometimes you open a box, sword and shield era, especially before the trainer gallery times, and you just get destroyed. Right now we're getting pretty destroyed. Two Vs, a full art, and a VMAX. Yikes. Oh, the early days of Sword and Shield were way tougher. Before the trainer galleries kicked in, uh, yeah, no, this is not good right now. I'm remembering. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is bad. That's crazy, dude. I don't know. Pokemon's messed around with the pull rates so much over the years. I don't even care about that mime. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see something decent. Probably pretty decent. Bruno Fuller. All right, we'll take it. Hoping for that alternate artwork. I was like, come on. Uh, all right, we got a full art though. All right, that's gonna be sad if I get a box that doesn't have a rainbow, like even just one rainbow gold alt art. Just one. Oh my God. It's happened before plenty of times though. That's the problem. All right. Fighting energy. We have to do a big battle styles opening. Oh, the Urshavu V. It ain't looking too good right now. Battle Styles. Come on, prove yourself. You can do it, buddy. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's always a good friendly reminder. Not so friendly reminder. Jumping back to early Sword and Shield times. How bad the pull rates were. We went through those times. We went through those times. And the Sun and Moon era. Those were brutal for openings. Those were brutal times, I gotta say. Like, but if you hit something, it was like the best ever because it took forever to get something crazy. Yeah, I remember Sword and Shield base came out and it was like, everybody was like, what is up with these pull rates? Like, I don't know what's happening. Um, and then it just kept going. Darkness Ablaze, Vivid Voltage brought amazing rares, which was helped a little bit we got something i think it's just a v it is oh and battle styles and evolving skies evolving skies is crazy everybody wants to open it but it's tough and then fuse strike came out and then um it was like brilliant stars and stuff and that's when i felt like sword and shield pull rates were, and artworks and everything too were heating up and it was like crazy to be able to open a box we were like what is happening the pull rates are crazy <laughs> there's trainer galleries you get two hits in a pack like 
Brilliant Stars, then it was just like bang, 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 Brilliant Stars, Astral Radiance, Lost Origin, Silver Tempest, and it was like, those were cool times. Like that second half of Sword and Shield era was crazy. All right. Well, this is a disaster. Um, luckily, the box is only a little over 100 bucks, but it's still a disaster. <laughs> it's still, uh, it's all V cards and two full arts, I think. That's crazy. We got two more packs, though, but still. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, no, not good. Oh, man. All right, one more pack. Let's pack magic, maybe? Maybe? Hopefully? Possibly? Here we go. Let's go straight through. Give me that Tyranitar. All right, that's not happening. Well, we got a ridiculous amount of V cards. That, that was basically it. Eight pulls. Like 75% of the pulls were just regular V cards. Uh, maybe we'll try again sometime. All right, guys, that is going to do it. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. If you want more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.